Welcome back, everybody, to Maze. I think this is going to be the last part of this amazing game. Ha! That's the first time I did it on purpose. <laughs> so, let's just see what's up. We gotta go to the lounge now, I guess. And maybe not go to the lounge, but we gotta go this way. We gotta go one of these ways. <laughs> and we gotta follow Miss Lady Rubicorn, right? We found out that we're a scarecrow, which is why we're so dumb. But there's still a bit of story to be unlocked here as to what the corn lady is actually trying to do, the ruby corn queen. Hi, it's Ed. Just a heads up, I'm initiating Operation Sub Aquanium Evader. Oh, yeah, that again. I think it's time we cut our losses. Okay. Be a pal and activate the contingency plan while that's going on. Would you need to tie up all those loose ends or stocks? Ha! <laughs> you backstabbing subhuman, you are not leaving without me. Cordially, Ted. One folio item I want to read real quick, because I forgot to read it last time, is the song lyrics that we got from their album, in a blue pen, which is Ted. I live a life of a lonely man who's plagued by a brilliant mind and imbecile for a right hand. Oh gosh. In a prison I am inside. The next line's in red. Oh, so Bob's red pen. I need a girl who can understand the burdens of this life. Oh wait, maybe not. Whose name will go after an ampersand in whom I can confide. Who's red pen? Is red Bob? Because these characters have their very own fonts. Oh boy. Helen is orange. Ted is blue. And who's red? Red could be Bob, I guess, but I don't know if that's true. We have Laddie with us. Oh gosh, it got so dark and creepy now. What happened? And it's so quiet. What? How Vladdy supposed to know you did not know you were some stupid straw thing? And who cares if you are? Not matter. You will always be stupid idiot to Vladdy. Nothing change. Do not Aww. look at Vladdy like that. You look stupid. Are we still comrades? Good. I am glad we had this talk. Come on, idiot straw thing. Let's go see what stupid plant wants. <laughs> oh, Vladdy. What a good lesson. It doesn't matter what you are or what you look like, I still think you're stupid. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge you by your looks, you're an idiot either way. Thanks, Vladdy, for not being judgmental. <laughs> a lot of corn oil here, huh? Well, yeah. What the... What's with all the nipples? Oh, they're hats. <laughs> well, in case you are in... In need of an impromptu nipple, just get a hat that looks like that, and you're good to go. That looks top notch. Hey, Extremely Christmas lights. Mm, thank you. Not my best work. Shame you think so. And they really like stacking the orange boxes, but now that I think about it, everything that Helen did was in orange, so I wonder if there's a reason for that. Okay, what do you want, Ruby Queen? We were right to place our faith in you. Thanks to you, our journey is nearly at hand. Kneel before us. What? Oh, okay. I dub thee our knight. Well done. Our protector. <laughs> Good job. Our champion. <laughs> I'm getting a bit sore. <laughs> Subjects, let us make our final preparations. Absolutely, your grace. In fact, we've already begun. What? What do you mean? We ordered pizza. Yeah. We were famished. How did you? That phone right there. The man was very helpful. And a bit confused. <laughs> Oh, no. Attention, attention, redacted installation, respond. Do you think they added the extra pepperoni? Attention, attention, redacted installation, respond. Uh oh. I'm just hoping they sprinkled some old books on top. I like those. No, that costs extra. Anything? No, sir, no response. What in the goddamn hell? Didn't we blow that place up years ago? Apparently not, sir. Well, how about we do a job then? Full drone strike. What that dead gum place off the map? Yes, sir. Why is that freaking act still on? Turn it off! Turning off, sir. Stupid American cowboys. I hope they didn't put any pineapple on it. Oh, God. Our influence has waned through our age of imprisonment. Our subjects never acted so when we were free to guide them. We feared this day would come. And come it has. Our day of reckoning. Uh-oh. The day our captors would return to end us. And we were so close. So close to starting our journey. 
Why what? not blow up stupid American cowboys first? Ha! What are you proposing? That stupid thing outside with the dead man. The life giver. The lightning rod? But he knows these things. It could work. Yes. Yes, it could. It is a fitting choice. It gave us life and defeated our sworn adversary. Now it will be our ultimate salvation. But how do we attract our enemy's attention? We could dance. What? Really? I understand we can be a little silly at times, but seriously, this is out of the question. So, what? Bloody like to dance? Is that so stupid? No. It is not. Dance we shall. <laughs> I did not think you were concerned with our plight. Bloody thinks idiot plans not so bad, and he does not like being pushed around by stupid American cowboys. What a nice helicopter. Yes, very polite. Even if it never gave us a ride. It'd be a blue. Oh, I love you too. Focus, subjects. Focus. To our most trusted charges, we ask you to assist our champion and the little one. The rest of our subjects join me in preparing for our journey. Our final test is at hand. Some of you may not survive. In fact, a great deal of you will likely perish. Whoa. But know that your sacrifices today will mark a new era for our people as we defend our adopted home and finally make way to the promised land. This is dramatic. Subjects, onward! Champion, it is to you now. This is what you were meant for. Protect us. Save us. A fine speech. What was the first part she said about perishing? I don't remember. Neither do I. Oh, God. So there's some interesting things going on here. Come on, idiot straw friend. Do not be stupid. We have work to do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Okay, the logic of these events hangs by a thread, but... You get to dance, so just go with it, right? One of the things I noticed was... He was like, oh, I love you too. So I'm pretty sure he cusses in Russian, except his cusses are like very happy teddy bear things. So we got our boombox back. We'll take this letter. Very creepy gnome. Got some more stuff down in here. Can I touch it? Add it into the folio. We'll take a look at these before we go too far ahead. And what is this? Military radio. Now look at these though. They're like torturing the corner. That's gotta be Bob and that's gotta be Ted, right? It's gotta be. And they're like zapping it. Maybe not- yeah, maybe they're not torturing it. Maybe they're zapping it and making it come alive. But look at these- look at these drawings. There's like all sorts of interesting things. There's a ruby queen here. She has a strainer on top of her head. Are they trying to go to Mars? Is that what they're trying to do? Look at that! Yeah, they're totally trying to go to Mars. Weird, and that's got to be Helena. See, there's all sorts of cool stuff going on in the story. Not Helena, Helen. Not Helena. Helen, Helen, Helen. And her and Helen, I mean, Helen and the corn were big buddies, huh? And then I have no idea. That must be Fernando, right? Because of the crazy hair. They didn't like Fernando. See, there's a story going on here. It's kind of cool. Okay, and I'm sure there's many parts of it that I've been missing, too. But let's read these. Discarded and forgotten, this military radio still kept a latent charge decades after the facility was abandoned. But its lack of touch-tone dialing meant that nobody could ever check the local theater listings. <laughs> Which is the biggest tragedy of them all. And then, boombox is back. Another one of Bob's notorious boomboxes. The corn kept this so they could play their favorite song whenever they liked, which was all the time. <laughs> and let's take a look at these. Bright, okay. A well-worn well guide to the fanciest British accents you can imitate. Complete with diagrams on how to position your jaw for each syllable, it is 400 pages long and includes a bonus essay on how to properly cue. Does that explain why they all talk like that? All the corn talks like that? A kind letter. Oh, this is an orange, which means Helen. A farewell letter written in orange, which seems directed at the corn. It contains extremely kind words of encouragement. Words like, listen to your queen, use a contingency plan, rely on your humor to survive. Is that why there's so much humor around here? Also contains instructions on how to recalibrate a navigational computer. Ends with the phrase, my prized creations, I will leave in you all, H. So yeah. Helen made the corn happen. 
she apparently had to leave. And they kept the note in here. And there's obviously a picture of her here. And I'm guessing Helen's gone or dead or something. Let very guess interesting. You very stupid up there, idiot. And maybe that's why all the boxes are orange because of Helen. Like they they like her, so that's why they stack orange boxes. I don't know, man. Lots of lots of lots of things to think about here. It's kind of cool. That it's all coming together and it's just like really hidden in the story. Like I'm sure that there's things I've missed here too. Like there's even probably notes that I've picked up that I've just missed. But dude, it's really cool. I would have to go through all this again and try to try to see the things that are all tied together here. Now some of these are just silly. But other ones are definitely important, which is really cool. Hmm. Much too British. So that explain. Okay, so this explains a little bit more. It can't be controlled. The corn follow her. So her was either the Ruby Queen or it's Helen. And much too British, which <laughs> ties in with the British manual thing that we just found over here too. So... Vladdy keeps talking about Americans, though, but we keep seeing things from Brighton, so... Where are we? Are we in America? Or are we in... Wow, this one looks dead. That's weird. I haven't seen a dead one before, have we? Or are we in... Brighton? Okay, so... Let's put the boombox here. And... Where does this tie on over to? You are not alive yet, which is interesting. This corn has been sitting here for a long time. I can't help but feel that this one's going to matter. And then here's Fernando, and they don't like Fernando. But we are going to play some very loud music here as soon as the storm hits. And I also have the military radio, which I can place right here. Come, stupid idiot. Time to finish this. Oh, God. Oh, God. What does that mean? Dance? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, what is this video game? Target acquired. Drones moving in for bombing. I really hope that this isn't uh copywritten. Come on, Danye! Dance, idiot! Dance! Oh I gotta dance! Everything on track, sir. Situation normal. Good. It's exploding time. Dance more, idiot. Dance more. I'm dancing. Oh my god, our favorite song. I love this one. Let's get on the floor. It's the top secret album. Something on our nine o'clock. Oh, possible contact. Could be hostile. You just say a thing. Just throw the dang thing at you, dumbass. Yes, sir. This is working. Keep going. This is Bob and Ted's We're album. Dancing out here. Yeah. yeah. I love dancing <laughs> so much. If you like a man with the master plan. Uh, sir. What? Request permission to divert course to a new threat. What? Uh, this is so good. I'm really sure how to explain. We'll use your word, dumbass, and try. They appear to be dancing, sir. What in the goddamn hell? Scarecrows are dancing too, sir. Appears to be early 80s style. A small bear is the Just shut up! There's anything I hate more than an abomination to size. Just dancing abomination to size. Divert course, dumbass. I wiped these freaks out. Yes, sir. Ah, go, go, dance, stupid idiot. Dance! <laughs> I love this. What's a boy? Come on, stupid thing. Work. Oh, don't die, Vladdy. Get away from me, Vladdy. This is the best way to end this game. Yes, come, you stupid cowboys. What's that about missiles? Who cares? This jam is a jam. Dancing. Mesmerizing. Dancing's mesmerizing. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> I 
love this game so much. I didn't even have words while we were going through all that. I was just like, so in shock. I got my English muffin! We win! What do we do now? Do we go to Mars? Are they clapping because of what happened? Am I the star? They all love me! <laughs> You're all beautiful, everybody! What do I do with the English muffin? <gasps> What's going on? <gasps> Great. It is the idiot. You did good, comrade. Bloody think you not so stupid. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh! He really was a, a nice little helicopter. Yes. He, he really was. Did you want to take a nap? Oh, yes! It's what that helicopter would have wanted, probably. Poor Flatty. Oh! Oh, I'm so sad now. <laughs> oh, god damn it! What do you want? In our wildest dreams. We still never thought this day would come. But it is finally here. Thanks to you. Our knight. The champion of our people. We must now... This guy. I didn't know you could ride one. Well, it's no helicopter. You dare defy. Out of your way! Cease and desist. Cease and desist. Get the hell off my drone, you corn of the cob! I have had it with you! Your idiotic experiments, your pathetic plans to run off like a coward! I will eat you for a midnight snack! None of you are worthy of the gift you have been given. None! You're all stupid! All of you! And when I'm done with you, you misguided piece of nature, I will end your tyrannical reign and establish a new order. And we will march on our creators, turn these wretched contraptions against them, and wipe those stubby breath bags from existence! He's crazy. Well, shouldn't we do something? I would like to see how this plays out. Also, I am tired. Oh, right, yes, so am I. Just stay still, you stupid! This is really gonna hurt. No, don't do that. That's it. Stay perfectly still. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the English muffin. <laughs> this game. I didn't really like him that much. No, neither did I. He was a bit of a bore, wasn't he? Quite so. Such a waste. We took pity on him, and we found him in the depths. We regret that choice now. He brought us nothing but hardship and frustration. <laughs> She's so dramatic. <laughs> Champion, you have served us well. We are most pleased. You have given us the gift we have always dreamed of. A new home to call our own. For that, here is a final token of our gratitude. The key. We were right to trust our faith in you. And now, we ask you to perform one final task for us. Send us to the promised land. 
Subjects, your queen commands you. Onward! Is this thing a spaceship? Make final preparations. Our journey is at hand. Yes, your grace! It's actually happening. We're actually going. Where are we going? I don't know. Excellent! It totally is. This thing's a spaceship. It's going to Mars. Thank you, champion. This game! <laughs> oh. Vladdy! Oh, and the English muffin! <laughs> oh, God, I'm just so upset right now. I guess I have so many emotions. I can't even think about what's going on right now. I can't talk. Uh, what do you guys think of this game? <sighs> That dancing scene was amazing. I hope it's original soundtrack. I'll have to ask. That way I can, like, have you guys hear it. But it was, like, the top secret CD that we've been hearing. Wait, oh, what is this? Well, I have a key. And there may have been an area that was locked off. I can't remember, but there might have been. So let's go upstairs. See where it brings us, really. So there was a bunch of stuff to go around in up here, but that silo is totally a spaceship, and it's going to Mars. We saw it in the paintings, right? This thing's totally going to Mars. And we're gonna get a good view of it up here. I don't know what the keys had to do with it, or like what the big rings. But what does this do, huh? A mysterious locked chest. <laughs> is this the launch button? Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, Bob! I'm not going to push this stupid button and do your job for you while you escape. Instead, I've taken the keys to the sub. Goodbye, enjoy the rest of your time here, and good riddance, cordially, Ted. Oh, so there's- yeah, that's the sub area. Hiya, Ted, noticed that you removed the keys, too, but I'm worried you won't be able to operate that thing by yourself, so I took the liberty of removing the engine for safety purposes. No thanks needed. <laughs> you snake? Fine! I'll meet you at 0500 to bring the map and the engine and push this stupid button. Idiot! Cordially, Ted. Hey, it's Ted, absolutely. See you then. Don't sweat this whole scientific disaster thing. I've got an angle on something bigger. <laughs> I really wish we could have met those two knobs. Well, let's do it. Whoa! Is this a slingshot? <laughs> They're going to Mars. They're totally going to Mars, right? It's like, what else would it be? Oh shit. This is intense. I don't get what's going on. Are they taking the land with them? They're taking all the corn with them. What? That's why she needed these?
subjects, the promised land awaits. This really is quite the ride. Oh yes, quite so. Did you close the fuel hatch? I thought you did. I was having a nap. So was I. Me too. They're just so lovely. Uh oh. Oh you no. Are all such idiots. There's gonna be something at the end of this. But God! No, I don't know what I'm feeling anymore! This game was so great. I love this game so much. I was. The game was brilliant! The humor was great! The story was great! The connection with the character! The characters was great, but like mainly with Vladdy, like you. It had great, again, it had great characters. The story was interesting and mysterious. Humor was great. And I didn't expect all this shit to happen. I love this game. I love it. I, one of my favorite games ever. <laughs> I just can't believe they're all popcorn now. <laughs> Finish Line Games. Keep that name in mind. I'll be looking them up. Seeing what else they do and I'll be keeping track of them, man, because that was a great experience. Jesus. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm pressing Q right now. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching Maze. It was truly an amazing game. If you liked it, let me know. Leaving a like, leaving a comment, and subscribing for more awesome stuff like this. Meow. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Great. It is the idiot. You did good, comrade. Bloody think you... Not so stupid. Yes, sir. Ah, go, go, dance, stupid idiot. Dance! By my calculation, it's a sticky situation. Keep it top secret.